Welcome to New Orleans, party capital of the South. This place is awash in great bars, and we're going to visit the five oldest right now. We'll start at the corner of Bourbon Street and St. Philip Street, where we find Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop. One of New Orleans' oldest buildings, this landmark is said to have been built around 1761. Legend has it that it was owned by the pirate Jean Lafitte, who ran a blacksmith shop as a cover. It's also said to have had a bar in it since its founding. Now, there's no proof for any of this, but who cares? The place is simply a great old bar with candles and a piano player at night. Bonus, try to get here in the evening, as the place is reportedly one of the more haunted locations in the whole city. Our next location moves us off of Bourbon Street, but keeps us in the French Quarter. On Decatur and Madison, we find two jacks. Founded in 1856 by French immigrants, the place has become one of the best places in the quarter to get a drink. Inside, you find the first stand-up bar in the city. You also find the only place left that makes an authentic Ramus Gin Fizz out of egg whites. As a bonus, order a grasshopper at the bar. The drink was invented here during Prohibition, so they know how to do it right. We swing back over to Bourbon Street now to the old Absinthe House. The date of this bar is officially 1890, but there's been a bar here since 1846. In 1870, a skilled cocktail mixer was hired and the place was never the same. The guy, his name was Ferrer, brought a flair for making great cocktails that has lived on in years since. Now a bonus, don't miss the authentic water fountains used to traditionally serve absinthe. Our next stop takes us out of the quarter to Uptown. On Magazine Street, we find Henry's Uptown Bar, founded in 1900. This old place has become a favorite of locals and the lucky visitors that stumble into it. Henry's is a beer and shot type of place, but they can mix you up anything that you need. Bonus! Travel about two blocks down Magazine Street to see Lee Harvey Oswald's old house. Weird, but it's an important part of history. Finally, our last stop takes us once again to the French Quarter. On Bienville Street, right off of Bourbon Street, is Arnold's. Known as a restaurant, this place has great bar history. Founded in 1918 by a colorful wine merchant, Arnold's quickly became known as a place to go during Prohibition. It now hosts one of the most elegant bars in the city, the French 75 Bar. Here, their mixologists make some of the best Sazeracs in the city. Bonus, while you're here, try a Rabinac, a drink created by their head barman, Chris Hanna. This is one of the best whiskey-based cocktails we've ever had. Hey, thanks for exploring the Crescent City with us. We hope you found some new watering holes for your next stop. And don't forget to pick up our travel guide, Bucket List Bars, which takes you to even more historic saloons around the country. For Bucket List Bars, I'm Clint Lanier. Cheers.